This exhibition should help all the audiences to think about different cultures, think about different globalized future, but also how things like technology can really help us to connect and really interact with each other. Is there many examples of Nam Jin Pak projecting into the future? Like, was that a common thing that he did? Yeah. You know, you, you read a lot of his, his writings in the 60s and 70s, and it's like, wow, I can't believe you're thinking along these lines. Peck, he says, in the future, we'll be using televisions, by which I think we can like mean screens. Everyone has a picture phone and a smartphone. Everyone can use their TV or their computer screen to buy things to share data. And he really envisages this world where having this electronic superhighway would bring people closer together. And what about the not so positive aspects of intercommunication? There's also the other side of it, which, you know, on one side it's like connecting everyone and people can communicate instantaneously and information can be shared and it's kind of this free and open platform, but there's also the Philip K. Dick side of, yeah. you know, these, <laughs> these uh, uh, technologies. He was coming out of this time of huge global trauma post Second World War. His family had to leave Korea following the Korean War. He moved to Germany. That was obviously very devastated by World War II. And I think Peck was really interested in being able to break down these national barriers and think about the world more in, in a global term. So he really used technology to break borders. And then there's also this sort of political intent that goes alongside it. I was listening to something the other day that, where they were saying all great modern art is uncanny in that it presents you a slightly different slant or a, a tilt on normal reality on, on mm -hmm. world and presents the world back to you in a slightly different way, which can, in many respects, you know, expand your worldview or mm -hmm. your vision. I think Peck would have appreciated that as well. Mm -hmm. And a way to get that mind-changing art out there was also via technology, by using these broadcasts to reach as many people as possible and, and to bring people together. Technology is not used for art, it's used for other things. It's always based on some kind of gain, you know, political gain, whether it's something associated with capitalism or something yeah. associated with individualism or this idea of individualism. Yeah, so much technology yeah. was developed for like military purposes. Yeah, absolutely. Or, you know, yeah. had some completely different use. Yeah. And Peck was someone who saw that he could take this technology and make art from yeah. it. And I think there's, there's so many artists out there who've like followed in, the, in his footsteps. It makes the definition of art quite interesting because it mm. makes art this kind of tool as well, you know, and I think he used it very much as a tool, you know, an art practice as a way of creating change and transformation in thinking. And that's probably quite true of people that use technological, or, you know, what we regard now as technology in their work, especially communication, you know, especially technologies of communication, not passive, technologies that are that you're just absorbing information mm. but there's an actual dialogue that can happen like of trans transmission and reception Hyundai Motor connecting art and technology